Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lau with Kenshan Crafts. And today I am going to be unboxing and sharing with you guys all the stuff that I bought on Fountain Pen Day. And I just felt like I was in a supermarket with a cart and with like tons of money to just spend. <laughs> <laughs> the sales were so good and I'm sure you all had some really great sales and buys as well so leave them down in the comments as you're watching my stuff what you guys bought on Fountain Pen Day if you were satisfied and happy with what you got yeah I certainly was happy with my stuff so if you like this kind of content you want to see more stuff and you're not subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel I would so appreciate that but yeah subscribe for more videos like this in the future I also do um, some helpful videos I haven't done as much recently but I will definitely do that um, but when I review my pens, I do my best to make sure that I have some helpful information in there for everybody who are either new to fountain pens or just want to make sure that they know everything they can before they purchase something that you're not able to test beforehand. So, all right, again, without further ado, let's switch the camera around and look at all the stuff that I got. Okay, so this... <laughs> This is my stash, my whole stash from Fountain Pen Day. And this is not even it. This is not even all of it. But of the Fountain Pen Day purchases, it is all the inks over here and these pens here. <laughs> and then I have like maybe three more pens from Fountain Pen Day that are not here yet, but I will share that with you at the end. So I'm going to start with the stationary stuff first, and then the inks, and then the pens. So if you just want to see the pens, you can scroll to the end. Or if you are adventurous, watch everything because it is just so much good stuff. <laughs> so, all right, let's put this all to the side. I'll keep the inks over there. And then let's start with this box. And then we will go to the next stationary box. This is the Pelican Hub uh, back from September 22nd. I was not able to attend the Pelican Hub, but my friend Tiffany, and uh, she is all the way in the West Coast, and she was able to participate in the Pelican Hub. And because she volunteered, she got the extra baggies because Pelican provided the hubs with tons of these lovely pelican, rose quartz, box of goodies or bag of goodies. So her location had tons of these goodies. So <laughs> she mailed this out to me and I finally got it. So I wanted to share that as part of my unboxing for my Fountain Pen Day stuff. So let's see. Oh gosh, lots and lots of like little sticker freebies. Oh. That is so cute. It's a pelican or a stork. Yeah, pelican just grabbing that beautiful turquoise M605. No, that's an M600. <laughs> I really want the turquoise, but I just feel like, I mean, like, do I need it? I uh, just, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe someday when it becomes really, really cheap. And look at the sticker. That is so beautiful. Y'all know I'm a stickler. I'm a sucker for blue greens. This is so pretty. Oh, it looks like that is a tattoo. Oh, the Pelican 40th anniversary, I think. Gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Oh my gosh, I one day would love to own that one. Okay, let's see. Pen Realm, Kirk Spear. Oh, yes, definitely need to uh i'm gonna go to the Sh chicago pen show next year so i hope to get kirk spear you know make an appointment with him if any of you guys had your pens done by kirk spear let me know um how you love it Let's see this one says tick the consent box at the sign-in table for a 25 dollars gift card oh i don't think i'll be able to get that <laughs> okay oh cute sticker like a rabbit okay and this is El Endless Pens discount code until October 31st. 25% off Pelican is about the same as the ongoing Blitz Black Friday sale that Endless Pens has anyways. So this is expired. Okay, Fountain Pendulum, 20% off online with desk accessories. Awesome. 
Oh, I love, let's see, this is Toto. <laughs> this is the giant cat bus. Yay, Toto right there. Oh, that's so, so cute. And then, yeah, another sticker from Pen Realm. So all the stickers away, we got some candies. I love white chocolate. So cookies and cream, wonderful. I probably won't be eating these. Oh, and then she sent me a sample of Pannonia Cheerio Water Bus. Oh, I, oh my gosh, this is the ink that I've been like trying to find back in like March, you know, because it's a teal blue ink, but it's actually very green. It was sold out everywhere. This is a uh, Ink Dependence's uh, exclusive with Pannonia or their collaboration. It is such a pretty green ink with blue particles in it. It's not like shimmer. So it is a very unique ink. Okay, they gave us a sketchbook. Oh, this is lovely. It's it's a dot grid. And then this Pelican uh, postcard, right? With the new Glauco Cambon art for their pen. This was one of the art pieces that won an award a long time ago, and Pelican bought this art piece as part of their, you know, whole museum of uh, art for their pens. Love it. So all of you that went to the Pelican Hub, you all have received these stuff. So <laughs> you probably already know what everything you've got. And if you watch other Pelican Hub videos, then you can definitely skip this part. Okay. Oh, it says Pelican on the top right, and it's beautiful white thick paper. I love this so much. I just wish there was more because <laughs> I probably will use a lot of this. Okay, and oh my gosh, is this, maybe this is the puzzle. We choose to go to the moon, and this is Estabrook pen. I remember this added to like the Estabrook pens. I'm wondering why this was in, included in the Pelican Hub. If you guys know, because I didn't go to Pelican Hub, um, why was this <laughs> also included? Uh, but wow, a lovely vintage looking puzzle. I mean, it goes well with Estabrook. So that was all my Pelican Hub goodies that my lovely friend Tiffany was able to secure for me. She forgot <laughs> the Pelican Rose Quartz ink. It was a lot of stuff, so I don't blame her. And she will send me the ink along with more inks later, so I will be swatching Rose Quartz at a later time. So thank you, thank you, Tiffany, for getting me these Pelican goodies. I love it so much. I can't wait to get the Rose Quartz ink. Okay, so the next stationary item here, I'm just covering the address here, is my uh, Hobonichi a6 cover, uh, well actually it's the A6 logbook, and the One Piece original planner. So this is the uh, planner that I decided, you know what, I, I can't miss out on this one. So I bought it along with my friend Adriana. Uh, go check out her channel at, I think it's uh, Plan Disney, or Plan Budget Disney. I will to put it down below. <laughs> um, so Yes, I got this and she had mailed it to me and I didn't do an unboxing of it, but I will share it with you guys today. Let's see what... <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Adriana sent me some... This is the Aponchu character. She loves Aponchu so much. Oh, okay, it says... To my dear friend Lau, I hope you love your One Piece items. I am so glad to have met you. You are a gem, your friend Adriana. Thank you so much, Adriana. Oh, this is so sweet. Ah, uh, okay. And then I think she just gave me some washi. So this is like a washi tape. Let's, let's, just, let's just check out everything. It's, it's, it's definitely like... I can unwrap all this washi, and plus washi removes itself pretty easily, so. Oh, more of these little, oh, they have different colored pens. Oh, and different <laughs> expressions. <laughs> okay, and then, oh my gosh, I love, like, vellum. The, I, vellum is one of the best stationary items to use and with decorating. So there's these vellum, they're like uh, see-through. 
bit of paper. Okay, and then these are more stationary paper ephemera items. And I think this is another set of washi. I can't quite see what that is, but I'm sure I will use it. It's so cute. Everything here is so cute. Thank you so much, Adriana. Okay, and then this, again, is just a Hobonichi bag. I can probably use this for, like, trash. I think one of my, uh, one of, I watched a video and somebody decided that they'll use this like a little trash bag. I thought that was kind of a great idea. <laughs> and it's just to put for, like, ephemera trash, collect it in there and then throw it all away. Or just to keep it for future use of the scraps of ephemera. Oh my gosh, here it is. Oh my gosh, it is so tiny. It's the size of my hand. <laughs> I have small hands, I really do. And I don't know what else to compare it with. So, I mean, if you use A6, this is an A6 size. It's, oh, my hand is the size of an A6 notebook. So we get our usual One Piece magazine, X Hobonichi Techo. A little uh, paper here, and then the usual Life is Present uh, brochure. Oh, and I saw, I think it's like Boots and Magic or something. I also put her YouTube channel down, but like she cut this part here and just like glued it onto her Hobonichi and used it like a pocket. It's such a great idea. So I'm not gonna throw this away. This is great use for ephemera and to just cut it out and stick it into your journals when you decorate. So saving this for sure as part of the whole memory keep in my journal. I probably won't use it in this tiny journal <laughs> for sure. It's so small. Oh my gosh. It is not this small in the in the website when you look. No way. Wait, let me see. Okay, yeah. So this original A6... <laughs> you guys, when I watch you guys write in your A6 journals, I never imagined it to be this tiny. It, like, it really is so tiny, but the camera makes it feel like it's a legit um, journal. So it, this A6 original one piece has little uh, comic blurbs in on some pages. It's all in Japanese as well. Um, and then throughout this, it will tell you the birthdays of each character. And then like at the beginning of every month, there's that large blank page that shows the comic. It's so good. Okay. I mean, I'm going to use weeks this year, so this is mainly just going to be used to, like, test write my pens because it's so tiny. I, I really don't understand how to use this as a planner. It's just, yeah, way too tiny. <laughs> but, wow, so cute. Hobonichi Techo 2024 original. I just, I really love this bright red color. Oh, my gosh. Okay, here is the... Oh, oh, there's some more stuff. Okay, well, the pen, as usual. And then, oh no, look at this cute washi that, I think this is, Adriana sent this to me. Thank you, thank you, Adriana. Oh, wow. This washi is beautiful. I don't want to, like, ruin it, but look at how pretty that is. Oh, the birds, so gorgeous. It's a little frosted. Most PET tape are clear. This one is a little frosted, which I really like. I mean, I like them both. <laughs> but the frosted ones are, have a different texture to them. It, I'll put these back in here. Okay, so the logbook, you guys. If you have a logbook, put it down in the comments how you like your so far. I know that it's not 2024 yet, so you're probably not using it yet, but if you had one from the past year, definitely let me know. Oh, 
I, I love this bag so much. It's it's a uh, it's not like super soft, but it's it's lovely, and it's very sturdy looking. And the stripes are really pretty, black and red. You guys, oh my gosh, just look at that. Again, oh, the size of my hand, so tiny. Oh. And then here's the sunny emblem. It's like a little um, metal or medallion here. It acts like the, yeah, it is the closure um, button here. Come on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So we can take a look at this. Oh, just look at that. They're so cute together. I mean, ideally, I would use the A5, but again, I told myself this year, I don't want the cousin. It is just too much for me. Um, and so I opted in for this cute A6, and it is just so tiny. I do love this color. It's a little bit like a... Like, it does have a, a slight peach, peachy pink undertone to it, but it's more of just like a off-white ivory kind of color. Um, definitely very peachy though, yeah. It's so gorgeous. Oh, this is gonna be a little tricky. Come on. I need you to lay flat. <laughs> this is such an ordeal to get a cover like this and for everything to still lay flat, okay. Oh wow, it's so cute. It's so cute and tiny. Oh, look at that. It's the Buff Whitebeard. Apologies if you have not watched it yet. And this is a spoiler, but it's just a pirate <laughs> that you'll meet in the show. Oh, and then it's got an extra uh, pocket over here. Love it. So nice. I can't wait to use this and have a patina over time with my use. Yeah, I do not regret getting this at all. The details on this thing is so lovely. This side over here has stamped in or embossed of this is Nami and that is Usopp at the front of the little, I believe that is the... This, the, yeah, that's the Going Merry. And then here it says, Sailing through the dangers of the thousand seas, shining happily like the sun. Oh, so, so cute. Very lovely quote. And then these parts of the cover have like very old style treasure map on it. So it's like you're keeping track of your destinations and your adventures like a logbook. So... Oh, so happy with this. Thank you so much, Adriana, for sending this over to me. Um, I mean, I, I bought it, but <laughs> uh, she we bought it together to save shipping. So, All right, next up are the inks here. I bought five inks from Atlas Stationers. They had the best ink sales on Fountain Pen Day, and they're going to be having another... Uh, lovely Black Friday sale as well. So look out for that. They always send these lovely postcards with each order. I told myself I would never buy Ferris wheel press inks anymore because they're very dry. I never have great experiences with their flow. Like one or two of the inks in my collection will write really well. The others will give me trouble. <sighs> but I am a sucker for lovely packaging and here it is me again buying this because it's so beautiful i mean just look at that carousel so pretty so so pretty it's got lovely navy blue with the gold it's i feel like navy blue and gold is just the theme this year every single pen company well not every single one but you see i've seen so many like indigo plus gold or copper on a pen this year ferris wheel press twisby um, like Esterbrook has one too, which is the Nouveau Blue. They didn't, it wasn't like produced this year, but like that is just iconic. Yeah. Oh, all the cute little animals on this. Yeah, I, I love the box so much. The color is okay. The color is, is really pretty, but 
It's all right. And then I also got Ferris Wheel Press, Sugar and Spite. It was such a bright, whimsical color, I had to have it. And I also got Wearing Ghouls, uh, Dewy Starlight. This is my favorite teal gray. It is so dry, but you know what? I'm gonna try and make it wetter with white lightning or something, but it's beautiful, so beautiful. And Visconti Green, I, I love Visconti. <laughs> no secret there either. I have seen that Visconti Green is more of a teal. Uh, it's not a true green, so I decided to get it. Okay, and then um, the last ink I got is Wolf Point Colorverse, which is Atlas Stationer's exclusive with Colorverse. This, you guys, is such a beautiful ink. I hope Atlas does not ever run out of, out of stock of this because I have not seen any other green shimmer like this. It is amazing. And then I have a... Um, my pen meet in Minneapolis, um, Andorillium came to speak with us, and I was able to buy two of their Andorillium inks. I bought the Banda King Shoemaker Butterfly Blue, which is a lovely turquoise, and then Viceroy uh, Butterfly Orange, which is a lovely burnt orange, kind of like a terracotta color. Two gorgeous inks. So I'm not going to swatch this today, but I'll show you the swatches. I mean, I'm not going to swatch it with you guys, but <laughs> I will show you the swatches I've made already so that you guys can see. Um, let's see here. Uh, I did also get a sample of the other Andorillium ink, which is Andorillium Adonis or Adonis Butterfly Blue. This is such a gorgeous, um, like, purple blue. It's a lovely pastel soft purple blue. So if you love those kind of... Uh, tones. This is a gorgeous ink. You should definitely check it out. Andorillium inks are s s lovely and cheap and you get a lot. I think it's like 40 milliliters. Let me see. Oh, it says 1.5 ounce. So <laughs> probably 30 mils and it's for $15. It's really cheap, uh, really affordable. And then here is Andorillium Banded King Shoemaker Butterfly Blue. You can see that lovely turquoise. It is a little teal too. Um, yeah, I don't know. It dries more teal than a turquoise, but I think it's a turquoise. And then this is Wearing Ghoul's Dewy Starlight. It's got gold shimmers, and it is a very soft pastel green gray. So if you're not into soft light colors, this is not the ink for you. If you are into that jam, this is an ink you have to get. So I did do all like uh, ink costs. Wearing Ghoul is the most expensive ink of all the basic inks. So if you <laughs> if you care about um, cost per milliliter, Wearing Ghoul is the most expensive. I'll just say that. Okay. Uh, Colorverse Atlas exclusive Wolf Point. So this is like this is a soft forest green. And the light, the lighter, drier passes, and it almost looks like jade. So this ink shades really well. It is, look at that beautiful shimmer. It, I believe it's like a chrome shimmer, like a silvery blue shimmer. Trust me, it is a really beautiful ink. And it, it flows pretty well too, from the dip testing that I did. And then here's Sugar and Spite. Look at how crazy that color and shimmer is the shimmer is like a champagne gold pink tone it is what they consider a um a chameleon so the shimmers isn't just one tone it's multiple colors and then the ink itself is definitely a magenta that leans very purple but I like a bright purple I, oh my gosh, this color is so pretty. Um, I'm not sure if I would write with this, but definitely like just to journal and decorate, I would love using that color. Okay, so here is Visconti Green. As you can see, it is, I mean, it's, it's coming off green on the camera for sure, but it is very teal, like very tealy. Um, I mean, if we, if we compare it with, um, Wolf Point. Wolf Point is not a teal. It is more of a green. So you can see the difference there. 
wolf point is that forest green, Visconti green is the teal. Yeah. But I love all shades of green. It's so beautiful. And then this is Fierce Will Press Crystal Blue Legacy. I think that's one. Yeah, Crystal Blue Legacy. This is a very interesting color. You can see there the shimmer is blue. It's like a lovely bright blue. Um, the, the, the ink tone itself is like a purple blue black. So it's a blue black with purple undertone. And so I think it's a very interesting dark legible ink. The shimmer does give it some life. I think without the shimmer, I, would, I wouldn't care for this color. It's way too dark for my tastes. But this shimmer makes it kind of magical. And the uh, obviously the packaging made me just buy it. It is the most terrible decision, but I love it. <laughs> I love these inks so much, all of them. So thank you, thank you, Atlas Stationers. You guys have the best ink sale. Oh, and my friend Tiffany also got the Mont Blanc, the blue series from her pen meet. And I got all three of these for $30. They're usually $30 each bottle. So this whole set is $90 retail. And I got it for $30. I was so, so excited. Like, unfortunately, I already bought Maya Blue for $30, bucks, um, like way before. And then um, I'm just like, I just want the whole set, even though I don't really care too much for these blue tones. I prefer the other pack of blues, but I already have two of those. So uh, two of the inks from the other blue set. So here are the three blues. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous. The Egyptian blue is a turquoise. My blue is a teal. My green has a lot of green. So this is what I consider the teal and the turquoise. And ultramarine is like a purple blue. This is more of the ballpoint pen inks uh, color so I don't really care too much for it but if you have a really broad nib this one has a lovely gold sheen to it you can see that it's really beautiful these two do not sheen but they do shade really nicely okay lovely Mont Blanc inks they're just so well behaving and just so luxurious okay all right you guys Thank you so much for making it this far. We will now unbox the fountain pens. <laughs> the favorite part, or my favorite part? Our favorite parts? Yes. First off, we have the Memento Magico. I pre-ordered this a while ago, so it came around um, fountain pen day. So I'm just gonna share it with you guys as well. This was the first Leonardo that I ever saw that I that made me go, I want Leonardo's. But I never got it because I didn't think it was wild enough for me. <laughs> but I finally got it. It was, I got it uh, during the July 4 sale at Endless Pens and it was like $118. For a Magico that usually retails for $180 or $200, I think it's a steal. So, look at that pen. It is almost like the Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl, but this is a lot more green, and it's this this chatoyant green, and the, the green color is just all over the pen. The Pelican M805 has like black, uh, a whole side of black shade, and then the bluish, I think it's a turquoise, bluish turquoise bands, of chatoyance and then back to black. This one is not quite like that. So if you love this kind of teal color, this is the uh, Smeraldo or Emerald. And I got it in the gold trim because the gold just looks so beautiful next to this teal. Uh, lovely pen. And I got this in an extra fine yeah, this is an extra fine, and it's got a lovely ink window in there. This is the first, very, very first Yovo extra fine that I have, and I absolutely love it. It's got so much uh, feedback to it, and I love that. Um, if you hate feedback, like really scratchy sounding feedback, Yovo extra fines 
are very scratchy in terms of like a feedback sound, but it isn't like scratchy in terms of it's gonna cut your paper. It's just a very lovely tactile sound that is just much louder than what we're used to in smooth Yovos. So that's pen number one. Pen number two is, I did not want to get this Twisby just because like it was $50 and it was just another Twisby Eco because I have the rose gold for the black, the smoke and white already. And I am content with that. I didn't want another one for the same price. But Endless Man had this on sale for $33 instead of 50. I, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> Get it if it's on sale like that. Okay. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen me unbox this and compare it to another blue pen. It is so, so lovely. Look at that vintage vibe of this pen. This is the copper, uh, it's supposed to be the co copper. Um, I don't think it's real copper. <laughs> I'm not sure if it is, but it's plated uh, with a copper tone. No, this is not copper. Oh my gosh, this is bronze. <laughs> so this is the Twisby Eco Indigo Bronze. But I love the sound that Twisbees make. You hear that? <laughs> Who else has a Twisby that loves that the sound? I just love it. It's like resin on resin, like mm -hmm. resin on resin sound. And Twisbees, so I know that Twisbees have a history of getting cracks. There's a lot of reasons, but Twisbees have O-rings here and here to make sure that everything's airtight and that nothing, you know, like no ink spills out of anywhere. And then I'm sure they have an O-ring uh, somewhere else too, but the... Twisby manufactures their pens in such a way to be very, very um, functional over form. Um, but the form, like if you like this, then the form is also great. But it's function over form is what I feel like Twisby does. And so when you twist the cap, you do not have to twist it so hard. Once you feel the friction, I would stop because that's kind of where the O-ring has touched the end of the, the, the cap. So it will seal very tightly. Like the, all of my Twisby pens, the inks write perfectly weeks and months after I don't write with them uh, because it seals so well. They have an inner cap, they have O-rings. Twisbees will do that for you, but do not twist them super hard. Like if, like I can still keep on twisting it, but no, I just stop right there. So I got this in a fine nib. I wanted to pair this with <laughs> like vintage scrapbooking and I got to find nibs so that I can write on the uh, paper that isn't fountain pen friendly. I haven't tested this yet but I I, I, I think Yovo finds on Twisbees should be pretty fine. My mediums are pretty fine but I believe uh, even Yovos across Twisbees are a little different and ink dependent too so yeah second pen very very lovely it is very affordable if you missed uh this endless pens it still has a lot of pens on their black friday sale so do check them out this is new to me opus 88 so this is the blue uh opus 88 demonstrator blue sapphire look at that look at that chatoyance See that? Oh my gosh. It's like cat's eye chatoyance where the light hits it and it, it shines so differently. It reflects the light so beautifully. And then there's the darker parts, but it's still blue. And then right here, you get this otherworldly chatoyance. It's kind of like seeing the earth from all the way up in space. I love it so much. So I have this inked up with the Ferris Wheel Press Crystal Blue Legacy. And I got it in a medium nib to because I wanted to use shimmer inks in here. Uh, Opus 88 is a very interesting pen. It is eyedropper filled. So when I unscrewed it, I used an eyedropper to put the ink inside. It holds quite a lot. I only put ink to fill half of it. This over here is a really long 
uh, finial end piece here, but it's a knob. And what you do is you want to unscrew it, open a bit. You can see how it's like not closed. This allows the ink to flow into the feed and nib. So if you have this closed, it completely shuts off ink from going into the feed. So it kind of almost acts like a vacuum filler pen. Like the Custom 823 has their own back uh, finial here that you can tighten or you, know, you can screw open and close to control the flow of the ink. So Opus 88's demonstrator pens or their pens do that as well. So I'm just gonna keep it open like that to keep some ink flow. And Opus 88 also has the most turns I've ever seen in a pen. So watch this. One, two, three, four, <laughs> four full turns to get it open. It is not a pen you want to bring with you on quick notes, but it is a lovely pen to decorate for me, for my purpose. I'm going to use it to like decorate journal with pretty shimmer inks. You can already see the blue shimmer there from the Crystal Blue Legacy. But look at that grip section, it's so shiny and pretty. Yeah, I love the white and the blue, the, all the shades of blue and white here is just gorgeous. One of the most prettiest Opus 88 demonstrator pens. Okay, so. This is the last pen. This is the piece de resistance. <laughs> I don't know how you say that exactly. That was so, so silly. This is my prized pen of the ones I have here. Um, before I share this pen, I wanted to share what other pens I have bought and they're not here yet, but I will put some pictures or show like um, the website that I bought this. So I also bought the Leonardo Memento Zero Fioritura Viola. And that is the lovely, lovely pink. And uh, it's purple, but it's got some pink shades of purple throughout the pen. It is a pen that is an Endless Pens exclusive and in collaboration with Nibs and Flourishes on Instagram. She created this lovely, lovely Leonardo out of all the purple shades of her flowers in her garden. And I think she has tons and tons of followers on Instagram that, and that really, really helped in making this pen so, so popular. It sold out in the first couple of days when it first debuted in April. And I think a lot of people bought this pen and I decided I didn't really need a purple pen yet. And then as time went by, I enjoy and love purples and I wanted purples in my collection as well. And then I also bought, <laughs> oh my gosh. So I won, uh, big news. I, I, I won the Reddit um, Endless Pens giveaway for a $300 gift card. So I had already bought the Fioritura, Fioritura Viola with my own money. And then I won the $300 gift card and I'm just like, what am I gonna buy with this? I used it to buy the Leonardo uh, Audace or Audis. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce Audes <laughs> or A-U-D-A-C-E. Um, but that's, it's the Leonardo Ebonite pen and it came out in red and gold. That pen retails for like $520. And with the Endless Pen sale, it went down to about $340. So I used my $300 gift card on it and I only paid $40 for it. So I'm just like, yes. Oh my gosh. It, it is a very, very classy looking pen. It is, um, it's the red and gold. The body is made of ebonite and it's, it's going to smell like rubber, I think. And it's going to feel kind of like rubber, but We'll see, it's gonna be my very first Ebonite pen. And then the last pen that I bought, and I bought it from Yoast at Apple Boom. Apple Boom had a 20% discount on all of their pens. So if you wanted a Mont Blanc pen, that was the time to get it from Apple Boom or Apple Boom. And I bought the Glauco Kanban, which is the Pelican M600. I just loved the look of that pen. It was like holographic barrel and it was basically rainbow color throughout the barrel. This last one here is a fine nib. 
of the pen that only comes in medium. They only have this in medium almost everywhere. You guys saw me unbox my other Pilot Vanishing Point Forest Green 30th Taiwan Anniversary. This is the 60th Pilot Anniversary Vanishing Point, the Kanreiki. So, I love black and red. It is the motif of my, or it is the color of my little guy here. I'll show you guys. Let me show you guys that before I show you this pen so you guys can see why it's such a lovely and important color to me. Okay, so <laughs> I was able to make um, some lovely keychains of my mascot here. It is a cute little cat uh, boy. You may have seen this in some of my shorts. I always put a sticker of this on my lovely cards that I make out to people. This is my little cat boy. And I named him Ken Chan. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the uh, inspiration for my YouTube channel name, Ken Chan, uh, Ken Chan Crafts. And so craft, I love scrapbooking. I love making cards for friends. And in journaling, I love using scrapbooking ephemera. So Ken Chan Crafts, he's got lovely red and black hair. And so red and black is a motif color for me. And I love that. It's this little cat. Yeah, boy, drinking a uh, mango smoothie. That's my favorite. <laughs> or it could be like boba tea. I want to commission my little cat boy holding a pen, especially this red pen, you know, because it's such a perfect match. So I made these keychains, so I'm going to be sending these out to my friends for Christmas. I don't sell this. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> that's not the point of this video. This is my lovely keychain, and I'm just so happy with how it turned out. I made a little um, cat key uh, clip up here. So it's, yeah, to match the whole cat aesthetic. Yeah, I just think he's so cute. And so, yeah, that's why I also decided I wanted the Kanreiki Red and Black Pilot Vanishing Point. It is the perfect pen for me. As as much as I love greens, this red and black one, I have to have it. And it's it's an anniversary pen. So it's going to keep its value over time. But I got it at such a great price at Zaf Pens, which is a store in uh, Athens, Greece. So if you like this red pen too, Atlas Stationer does still have it and you can definitely get it for $40 off the retail price, which is still amazing. And if you use my code on Black Friday, it'll be $80 off? <laughs> Amazing. So, so there's the pen. Oh my gosh. The Pilot Conreiki is just so beautiful. I, oh, so happy with it. Absolutely stunning. The grip here is matte, so I definitely don't feel it slip out as I'm writing because my hands and my fingers do touch the matte section. The glossy finish, it, this is lacquered. It is a little bit more protected than the matte sections. However, I, I, I love matte, the, the feel of the matte so much. This red is actually, it, it's a bright red, but it's also a little muted uh, in some sections. And then when the sun or the light hits it just right, this pen isn't just like a flat red. It is a really shimmery red. It's a subtle shimmery red, but it's so gorgeous. I just love it. I love it so much. You'll see in person if you do buy this. It's so amazing. And then the ring band here is, is also lacquered like the rest of the body. It is not matte like the black parts here. And the number, the edition number is on here. So that says Pilot Japan there. And the number I have is 1460. My camera is terrible at zooming in. So I'm just going to tell you guys that it is 1460 out of 2023. Because this is the 2023 limited special edition. There's only 20, 2023 of these pens made. And I got 1460. The best part of this pen, however, is that it comes in a fine nib. 
not a medium. It's only ever sold in medium in most, almost everywhere. But Zaf Pens had this in a fine, and that was so interesting to me, on top of it being a really good price. My green one is a medium, this black one is a fine, and I will not go any higher than a medium nib. So I love using fine nibs, and this fine nib is gorgeous. I brought a piece of paper here to show you guys how lovely and thin this fine nib writes. So this is Pirate. Oh. Vanishing point. Fine nib. 18 karat gold. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So unique. I just feel so unique with this fine nib on this Conreiki red. And look at that. It writes gorgeously fine tip. The Pilot finds are literally one of the best finds you'll ever be you'll ever have or use. It's like a Western extra fine. So here's the Western Yovo extra fine. I'll just write to compare it my Leonardo Magico Yovo Extra Fine You can see there even the Yovo Extra Fine is slightly thicker than the Vanishing Point Fine nib um, otherwise, they're very, very similar. So, the Pilot Japanese fine nibs are this, about the same as a Western Yovo Extra Fine. And then this is a Yovo Medium from the Opus 88. It is a very, very juicy medium, a very thick line. Yeah, this Yovo Medium writes like a Japanese broad, or like pilot mediums. <laughs> so those are the four pens that I have so far from my Fountain Pen Day shopping spree. And then I have three, four more pens coming. So I will also be sharing those in my uh, Fountain Pen collection video, which I will be doing very soon here. Some, probably sometime in, the beginning of December. So watch out for that video because it's going to be so much fun. It's going to, I'm going to go over all my fountain pens. If you love collection videos, you're going to want to watch that. <laughs> all right. Well, this is my fountain pen day haul. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> all the way to the end here. It was such a big haul and I'm just so happy and excited with the pens that I have so far. And just can't wait to try all these inks out and start using my Hobonichi um, little A6 journal here. So let me know down in the comments what you guys got for your fountain pen day shopping. Like it's totally fine if you bought nothing or if you bought a lot or if you bought very little. It's it's how you want to celebrate your yourself and you know in, in creating and curating your fountain pens collection and so everyone is different and that is totally fine i just get excited to see and hear what everyone else gets and what they love uh, in terms of fountain pens so yeah leave those down in the comments and um, leave a like subscribe if you enjoyed this uh, video and you're not subscribed yet i would really appreciate that so much thank you again for stopping by and i will see you in the next video bye Thank you.